Follow these five principles when building your business website, and it's basically guaranteed to rank on Google. Let me show you exactly what they are. What's up there, guys? Izzy here once again with Do-It-Yourself Junk Removal SEO, where I help junk removal companies, dumpster rental companies, small business owners really understand the internet, really understand search engine, website design, and getting a website to rank on Google. And today I'm gonna to discuss the five most important ingredients to make a website show up on Google search, um, no matter what it is that you're doing, it almost guarantees that your website is going to get onto Google and how, if you follow these five principles, sometimes very, very often, it's pretty much all you really need. And when it comes to SEO, you don't really need any of the outside services people provide or anything like that. Just following these five principles will make a website rank on Google. And what I'm doing is I'm going to provide a template for my website designs that you could use. And it doesn't matter if you're using WordPress, Wix, Squarespace, Weebly, any of those other website designers, except the GoDaddy website builder. That one sucks. Don't use that one. Um, if you follow this, the, the principles in that template, I'll have it in the description below here. You just download it. Um, if you follow the principles in that and the rules that Google's looking for, your website's guaranteed to rank on Google. And like I said, in some instances, it might even get to the first page on its own. So today I want to show you guys my template and how I've used it in numerous industries to rank businesses on Google you doing no other SEO except for the website design. Zero outside SEO, uh, any other any links, anything else, nothing but the website. So if you type in asphalt paving Ellicott City, I'm going to show you that first website that's showing up here is number three on the Google search results. So my five things are always what I talk about in all my videos. It's your title tag of your website. It's the meta description of your website. It's the H1 title tags, the H2 title tags, and good quality, about 1,800 words of content on the first page on your home page. And on some of the service pages, it's around four to 500 words, but your main important page is your home page. So if you type in asphalt paving in Ellicott city, if you go on the number third website, my website that I designed for this company is showing up here, number three, and I followed those rules. You go up to the top, the proper title tag, asphalt paving Ellicott city. The description, I can't show it on here, but it, it mentions those same words. Ellicott City Asphalt Paving Company is the H1 title tag. Here's the H2 title tags, the good content, and it's good to go. Let's go with a different one. This one was built on Wix. This gentleman needed some help with his website. He has also is an asphalt paving contractor. I've done zero SEO other than fixing up his website. Asphalt Paving Prescott Valley is in Arizona. So here's his website. It's a number three on the Google search, just from following my template, the title tag up here, Asphalt Paving Prescott Valley, the meta description, the H1 title tags, H2 title tags right here, good, solid content and good pictures and all that stuff. And my, and my design and my template have helped it to rank here on the first page of Google doing nothing else. Let's do one for house cleaning service. There's a lady I help with her house cleaning service here in my town. You type in house cleaning in Paso Robles. Her website's built on Weebly. Again, I followed the same rules that Google's always looking for, those five rules. Meta, the title, meta description, H1 title tag, H2 title tags, and good content. So you can see here's the website. Here's the H1 title tag, H2 title tag, good content and everything's good to go. And again, this website's number two for the words house cleaning and past robles. Another one, tree service and past robles. Another guy helping here in my area, same thing. Tree service, past robles, you type that into Google. He's showing up in the maps here as well, but he's right here too. He's number three on the Google. And you can see again, I followed the rules. Meta uh, the title tag up here. Meta descriptions fixed up. The H1 title tag. Here's the H2 title tags. Again here. And here. And then my template that I follow 
and it doesn't matter what I'll be using WordPress, Wix, Weebly, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to show you some other ones in the junk removal field. These guys have helped with their websites. Junk removal, Menifee, California. His website's right here in the middle of the map pack for those three words. You click on his website. Again, I followed the same rules. I followed my same template that I've developed over the years that's worked very, very well for pretty much every industry. It doesn't even matter if you, like I said, you're a concrete contractor, tree service, asphalt paving contractor, a DJ, it does not matter. If you follow this, this template and my rules and the rules for SEO, your website's gonna rank on Google. And then the last one here for uh, junk removal in Fort Lauderdale, you click on this bad boy and one, two, three, he's number three on the map. And again, I followed the rules for this one as well. Junk removal, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, H1 title tags, H2 title tags, H2 title tags, good solid content, good pictures. And again, the same format, the same template that I use for all of my designs from, I don't know, I've been using it for a while now. I've changed it over the years, but I developed this over the last couple of years and it's worked very, very well. And again, zero SEO other than the website build is what's made these websites rank up. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to walk you through real quick my little template that I've designed to help just about anybody build a website. And it doesn't matter the format that they're using. I still prefer WordPress, but I've seen websites rank with Weebly, with Wix. I've yet to try anything with Square. I haven't ran anybody with any websites like that. But if you follow the rules, they always, always work. So let me show you my template. So here's the template that I've created that anybody could just go onto my website, enter your, na your name and email address, and I'll shoot this over for you. You can print it out and really study it. Or you can look it up on just on a screen here. Preferably, I've just printed out and it walks you step by step how I structure my website so that they rank on Google with doing as little outside SEO as possible. Just by following this template should get your business to show up. And if you're a more more competitive market, like some place that's got like a million people, half a million people, your website's still going to rank, but it's not going to rank on that first. It's going to be page two, page three, somewhere around that area. But eventually it will get to the first, I mean, uh, eventually it'll start to rank. You might have to do some other, further SEO for it in order to make that happen because uh, the way it works is that there's more pages for a particular, like, for example, junk removal in Houston, Texas. There's going to be hundreds and hundreds of pages for those keywords as compared to junk removal and past rules where I live is only like 30, 40,000 people. It's going to be a lot less. So you have to take that into account. But nonetheless, your website will rank if you follow these these uh, these rules here. So here's the first structure uh, of the website. This is the header. It tells you where to put your H1 title tags, how to write some of the content. I, I created the instructions on how to write that. On this section of the websites, I call that the reminders of the problems that the person's having. So when somebody needs a house cleaning, why do they need a house cleaning? You start asking them questions as to why they were online for the, in looking for a house cleaner in the first place. Kind of remind them why they were searching. Uh, do you need a clean ser service that will work with you instead of a schedule that benefits your situation? That's that for an example. A uh, junk removal. Uh, are you looking for to find an easy to work with junk removal service near you? Something like that. So six questions you ask your customers uh, to get that thing going there. And then the next part is the solution to their problem, which is you, your business. So in this section, I put in three things like bullet points that separates you from everybody else. Um, you're experienced. Um, you have the proper equipment. You are licensed and insured. You have great pricing. Whatever it is, three features to have them call you. And then this section, the middle section, that's the service pages, the, the service that you offer. I put that in there too to start creating content, starts creating more information. Just like this house cleaning website, you see all the content on here and it starts quickly to add up the number of words. And the next section of the website is what I call what separates you from the best, from the rest. So in this section is basically it's a little paragraph like this one here. Why we stand out as the best Ellicott City Asphalt Paving. On this one here is... What makes us different from other as from Prescott Valley Asphalt Paving Companies? Uh, for the house cleaner, same thing. Let's see what we got here. What makes us different? What makes us different from other Pastorables House Cleaning Services? So 
on my little template, I instruct you on how to structure this paragraph um, step by step, make it really, really easy for you to really break that down. And then the next section of the website, my little template, I always add the steps that your customer is going to go through whenever they call your service. They're going to want to know that kind of stuff. So it's very important to let them know and make it easier for them to call you. So like this one here, here's the steps that are going to happen when they call to get asphalt paving. Same with this one here. Same with the house cleaning here. The steps are going to go through all that stuff. The tree service too. See the steps that go through as well as the junk removal. All the steps are going to go through when they contact your business. The next thing we're going to go into is the testimonials. Uh, this That way you prove to people that you're awesome. You know, you write in some good testimonials for some of your customers, put them in there. You can put pictures in there. Same thing right here. House cleaning too. Same thing. You could do it with uh, what I like about WordPress is that you can embed Google listings into the website to make it look even, even more awesome. So that's what I go with that. And then, of course, the email form is the next section. This is the way I design it with the email form there. Email form there. You can see it on that one. Same with the house cleaning. Same with the tree service like that. And again, same with the junk cleaning, junk, junk removal companies too. Email form right there. And then again, and then finally, the final call to action to remind them why they were online in the first place and why they should call you to call for their services. So same thing here on that one there. We do it on that one there. And of course, on the house cleaning over here. Where was it at? Right there. So that's how I structure the websites. That's how I design it. And that's how I follow the five steps with this template. It makes it easy to follow those five steps and really set up a really well designed website. It's going to rank on Google on its own without really doing anything other than just designing it really, really well. So that's all I got for you guys for today. My five steps to make a website rank on Google with doing very little outside SEO other than the website design. All right. Till next time.